This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny, ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans. 
but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him, he's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman, built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. <laughs> What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge along with everything else. It was time to choose. A nasty fall or a bullet to the head. Come 
você não luta que nem homem! It wasn't the time, and I was still a little rusty, but the tune was coming together. Just as this new start of mine was about to come to a shuddering halt. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Sooner or later, I'd have to go out there and see what was happening. Trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. Might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, do you? Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. I had to keep moving.
It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. was on the wall to the left of the gate. Enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Falando com meus homens assim. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Me ajuda. Me ajuda. Me ajuda. Me ajuda. Me don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how.
And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. Days later, it was back to work, ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, we'd spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. Saúde. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? 
Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my nigga! Oh, oh, hey. What's your bed, Mo? What's your bed? Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be le- The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Time was a luxury I couldn't afford. His name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual. Scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. One sad old man staggering around an empty party. This was all too familiar. What the hell was I doing? Time was a luxury I couldn't afford. Who was I trying to kid? I was behind the pace a decade ago, and the past 10 years hadn't been kind. I was never going to get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time.
the way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Time was a luxury I couldn't afford. This time, I'd use the stairs. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got it. Got it. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. unfinished business and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Much as I like to indulge in self-reflection, this wasn't the time. Ah, don't shoot, por favor! You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye. And maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, 
It was time for me to add my two cents. Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos' luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, 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 there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? We can't just leave her. We're actually gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Who's here? Who? I don't know! I'm taking it one sister at a time right now! Shoot! What the fuck are you waiting for? Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed co- It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Raul! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. Hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. As much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Sem fazer barulho, sem fazer cagada, hein? Ei, vocês aí, parado, filho da puta! Ei, oh, ei, ei! Tá ligando? Parado aí! Parado! Ah, 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 Bota essa arma no chão! Hey, put the gun down, put down your gun. Bota essa arma no chão agora! Slow, slow, slow. Não faça nada, estúpido. Me mostra o dinheiro. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa! Easy, pal, easy. Vem! Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. OK, 
okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Damn! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max, you can do this, come on! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on, I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites round town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go! See there, Grandpa. Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. Dumb sport. Hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, All right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Commando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Sao Paulo lived and died this game. That day more than most. How much blood did you lose? Snap out of it, bro. Passos had done a good job with the bandage. 
and an even better job with the pills. I couldn't feel my arm anymore. I couldn't feel much of anything, which was the way I liked it. Mr. Victor Bronco. For all his friends in high places, he had just as many enemies. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Our three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. Let's see if this thing works. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Ah, it didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? What do we got here? Do you have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Se o filho da puta. Que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Heads up, here come his friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians would be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. I'd save some of those bullets if I was you. We gonna do this? Four. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. What was that in Aiden? Come on, let's move! More trophies and game plans. It had been a very long time since I'd had one of either. This way. Are we gonna do this? It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. Essa porta aqui, fecha a porta de pressa. Ah! Que pariu! 
Ah! Ei, peraí, não me deixa aqui sozinho! Ah! Ah! O que, seu viado do caralho? Cadê a porra do dinheiro? Ah! 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 Cadê uma bala na sua cabeça, filha da puta? Hein? Hein, morre, tô velado, filha da puta! Eles devem ter ido por aqui. Abre a porta. They seem nice enough. Sai! Sai! Vamos, vamos, pega, pega os caras! Pega os caras! Were they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. Come on, they're going after the cash. I've had enough of these fools. Pick up, pick up, pick up! Good enough for a professional athlete, it was good enough for me. I was in need of a little performance enhancement myself. rights, don't you think? Look at this flat jack. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. You gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to go in front of Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. Are you hoping to get a hot dog or something? Why do I always get to go first?
It was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. I was getting annoying. What the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your headset on. Look, I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say.
All right, I'm inside. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? Quem é, menina? Ah, alguma alpinista social. Vai estar aqui! Claudio, their golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. It was time to get out of this Hall of Fame before somebody added my face to the wall. What are you doing, Mac? I don't know. Looking for something that ain't here, I guess. What was I doing back here? This wasn't the time to be admiring a bunch of overpaid heroes I'd never even heard of.
Yeah, I hear you. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I guess it's nowhere nice. Shiny the money? Nope. Just the people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company.
right! It's around the camp, bro! Come on, move, move! Come on, Max! Move! Is that what you call running? Okay, I'm in. Clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? Shit. There's a whole gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I'm gonna run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me. Help me out here, Max. Why aren't you shooting anyone? This is a gun. There's no more. Focus, Max. You on that. Stay down. Just stay calm. Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <sighs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. God, God damn it! Max? Shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch.
place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries, I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for hire, ex-cops military, I don't know. But they can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Jesus, they've shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. Come on. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldier. one way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Good, make it quick. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. destroyed Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. <laughs> Drag this out. We'd have to 
destroyed Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. It's a bad idea. Make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Now let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out man, here. old man. A nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap it up, boy. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up. All cops should go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. <laughs> I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Uh, hey, you don't, don't take that home. from this punk tone. I ain't taking nothing from him. God I'm hasn't already deprived him of. But I might oh, start any time. Now say you sorry. You say fucking you sorry. has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop card. Don't act clever. Right I will blow your brains oh all over this Fuck counter. This every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before any of you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm fuck off. I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Face. Yeah? Stay okay. right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember, remember me? me? I 
Pasos. How Pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah, keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know, proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah. Sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great me. set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúde. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Saúde. Saúde. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure I had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. Maybe I wanted to die there, amongst the empty bottles and my slept-in clothes. When you write your life into a tragedy, events don't always follow suit. They would barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. I wallowed in the misery. It's not the first time I'd been self-indulgent with regrets. It wouldn't be the last. Oh, shit! They got the twin
Time to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. We gonna do this? The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized. Partnerships start as they mean to go on. Sticking here is gonna get us killed! I still didn't remember having met Passos before. But then again, I didn't have any friends left from those days and I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. Hey, walking's gonna be good for your head. The place had seen some good times, if by good times you meant a free and candid exchange of STDs and stepped on cocaine. shows up. Come on. I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Set me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. And there he was, back in amongst it to help me out of a jam. right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, Scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> 
Can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. No thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Yeah, that looks about right. You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! Always in moderation. I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? <laughs>